Hey everyone, thanks for your support and watching this video. Again, I apologize that my voice is a little off today. I just feel a little under the weather, alright? So in this problem we can see Robin runs twice as fast as she walks. If she runs for 12 miles and walks for 8 miles, the total time to complete the trip is 5 hours. Find her average speed walking and her average speed running. So what we have here is a matter of rate, time, and distance. Okay, so we'll compare these this way. And then we'll also compare her in terms of running and in terms of walking, all right? Now, what do we know here? Well, we know that she ran. Uh, she can run twice as fast as she walks. So if we made walking just some variable as a rate, walking, W, then her running rate would be 2 times her walking rate, 2W. Then in addition to this, we know that the distance that she ran for was 12 miles, and then she walked for 8 miles here, as you can see right here, 12 miles running, 8 miles walking, okay? And yes, this is in miles. I labeled that appropriately. What it doesn't tell us is the time that she ran and the time that she walked. But what it does tell us is that the, she had a total time of five hours, right? Now, since this is a, a rate, a rate is a distance divided by time. And you can think about this in terms of miles per hour, uh, dollars per hour, some type of rate, okay? And we'll always divide by time, uh, but since we don't know the time, we'll have to manipulate this until we get a time equal something. And uh, by switching the rate and the time, we get that time equals the distance divided by the rate, all right? So when we write these out, we simply place the values for each running and walking. And those times are the distance divided by the time for both running and walking here, right? Now what this means is that if we take the two times and add them together, we know that we'd have five hours. But we're going to write that a little bit separately just so we can see what we need to do here. So this is what we have. And uh, this is just kind of like trying to find an answer for the polynomials. If we have a common denominator, then we can get rid of all the fractions, right? So if we look at this first term, it has a 2 and a w right here. The second term has a w, but not a 2. So if we multiply both of those by 2, then we have a common denominator of 2w. 5 has a denominator of 1, so we're going to have to multiply it by 2w, just like this. And since we have common denominators, what we'll do is rewrite this now, right here, without any of the denominators. Because once we have common denominators, we can ignore them. So that gives us 12 plus 16 equals 10w. You can see that 2 times 8 would give us the 16. 5 times 2w, or 5 sets of 2w's, would give us 10w's right here, okay? So now we'll just combine the 12 and 16, which gives us a 28. And that equals a 10w. And then we'll just divide both sides by 10, like this. And that tells us the walking rate is 2.8. And uh, two things we were comparing here were miles, and time was in hours, right? We can see that here. So when we write the actual answer for the walking rate, we can see that she was walking at 2.8 miles per hour. So there we go, we have the walking rate. And then the final thing we're going to want here is the running rate, right here. And the running rate, as we look back, was just 2 times the walking rate. So we're just going to double this. So we have 2.8 times 2, which would give us 5.6. And again, that's the running rate. So the running rate was 5.6 miles per hour. 
Now, you could go back and check. You could say, well, if she was running for 5.6 miles per hour, uh, how long would it take her to run 12 miles? And how long walking at 2.8 miles per hour would it take her to walk 8 miles? And if you combine those, you'd find that you would have 5 hours of both running and walking time. And so there you go. All right, I hope uh, this has been helpful for you. Again, uh, the main idea with these types of problems is knowing the rate, the time, and the distance. You can make a table like I did. Uh, some of you may have skipped a lot of this and just known that time is dist uh, distance divided by the rate, uh, which would have helped you to formulate this equation here in black. All right, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Just click below. Uh, there should be an icon somewhere in this area right now that you could click on. And that will help you to subscribe to my channel and watch for more videos uh, to come shortly.